so hello guys and welcome to the channel in today's video i'll be teaching you guys how to create read update and delete documents in firebase so we'll be starting from scratch and we'll be building this contact app alongside right so let's get right into it and let's look at how the app works so this app is um a simple contact app and we have options to delete a contact edit and then add a contact so basically the card operations so let's try to create a contact and i'll tap on the add contact button this takes me to a page where i can add my contacts so a contact basically consists of a name phone and then an email right and we have some authentication um in place so you can't add an empty contact so if i tap on the save button pause the fields are empty i get these um, errors right so let's add a contact i'm going to type in something you see um random user and then the phone i'll just enter any number You should know that um, the focus of this video is not about strong validation so I have not placed any check to make sure that there is a valid phone number but we are just um, creating something on Firestore you get it so that's why I'm able to enter any number regardless of um, its validity so the email I'm going to just enter something and when i tap on save realize um the contacts we created should be here yeah so random user german at gmail.com and we can edit this so if tap on the edit button it takes us to an edit page and i'm also using um, an api to get this random images and we'll look at that during the tutorial so i can change the name to something like um user one and then change the number to zero 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 just to show you guys that the update um operation is actually working so let's edit this contact by tapping on the edit contact button and realize we immediately change it to user one zero zero german we didn't change the email right we can also delete this user or just any user so I'm going to tap on the delete button and I realize the user is gone contact deleted right and all this data is coming straight from firebase they are not just dummy data so let's get right into it and look at how to build this from scratch okay so the first step is to create a firebase project and i'm at um, the firebase console so you just have to search for firebase console on google and then log in with your gmail account and that will bring you here and i'm going to create a new project for our flutter project so you have to create a firebase project before you can use it with any other um, app or website whatever you are working on so i'm tapping on the add project and we have to give our project a name so I'm going to give it um, contact manager and let's continue and there is no need to enable Google Analytics for this project right. and after some seconds our project should be done creating So our project is done creating and we can continue to the actual console of our project so in the console um the first thing you want to do is to enable the firebase services you want to use right so firebase is not just about database they have a lot of services when you come to the build section they have authentication um, firestore database storage hosting functions and a lot and what to be focused on in this 
um, video is the database aspect of firebase that's the firestore so first go to your firestore database and we would have to enable the database for this project as in tell firebase you need from um, their database service for this particular project so just create um, a database and you'll be asked whether you want to start in production or in test mode right um since this just to teach you the concept of um, crowd operations in firestore you don't um, need to start in production mode right if it's a project you maintain for a long time then you can start in production mode but i'm going to start in test mode and if you start in production mode be sure to um change the rules for your project right so the rules for your firestore by default it is allow read write e force which means you cannot perform any um, operation on the database unless you change the security rules so we're going to start in test mode which has a different rule that will allow us to um, create read update without necessarily changing any of the rules available so i'm going to tap on the next and um, let's just go with the default okay so we have our um, firebase firestore enabled that's our database and that's all we're doing in this console yeah so in the next video we'll look at how to connect um, this firebase project to our um, flutter project using the flutter fire cli right and from there we'll start working on creating um our contacts and then updating deleting and everything that follows so if you don't want to miss that kindly subscribe share the video and comment as well and i'll see you in the next one